All right, before we get started on the video, I just want to go over a badge that we had missed throughout our main journey. And it's that speedy spin badge that we have got, we have alluded to by Mer Lovely. Okay, so yeah, there it is. There's the speedy spin badge and we have no way of getting to it. But, there is a way that we could be able to get, get it at all. Okay, one of these, one of these quadrants have got to be it, but you have to take a twister in a, in a quadrant that has blue cacti. And in fact, there's the blue cacti over there that looks green. So, now we need to do is find a twister. Oh, that one has flowers, but yeah. Find a twister and r take a ride on the twister. And there we go. The spin attack badge. Let's Mario destroy a weaker enemy with a spinning move. Now, that is the second to last badge in the entire game. Fortunately, the last badge in the game will be get will be gone. Well, along the way to Bowser's castle, which we will go to start off the video at S well, Shooting Star Summit. See you there. Hey guys, it's me, Double D, with another episode of Paper Mario. Last time we completed all the side questing by taking on the Toe Town Dojo, finally answered all of Chuck Quizmo's quizzes, and got the last star piece. This time, we've come so far in our journey. There's nowhere else left to do but to go up to the Shooting Star Summit to meet up with the Star Spurts, so we can finally confront Bowser and rescue Princess Peach. We have come a long way. It's been since the prologue since we came here for the first time. And here we are, ag here we are again, with the Star Spirits rescued. Mario, can you hear me? I'm going to open the entrance to Starway. Enter this path without fear. The Starway continues all the way up here to Star Haven. We seven Star Spurts will be waiting for you here. We wish to grant give you our remaining power. With this power, you will be able to stand up to the Star Rod Bowser holds. We anxiously await you. Mario, make haste to Star Haven. Indeed we shall. Welcome to the beautiful Star Haven, or specifically, Starway, where there, the entirety of Starway is just this nebula walkway. And speaking of which, I totally forgot, I need a certain badge on me, and that would have to be... I'm gonna take off Dodge Master for now. That would have to be... where is it? Ice Power? Because we're gonna be facing off against these things! Okay, I need to take take him out right now. Okay, um, power bounce time. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, there we go. At least he's dead, but Gubario, take it away. This is an ember. Embers are fiery monsters from the forge from uncanny blue fire. Max HP 10, attack power 4, defense power 0. They may look frosty, but they're actually on fire, so fire attacks won't work. They divide themselves when they're attacked. Keep attacking them, though. You'll get them eventually. They'll probably fight back. Their attacks are usually dealing out three damage points. Water, water attack will work well. Let's beat them before they get the chance to burn us. So yeah, we have embers, which are basically this fire bubble. Holes. Except they divide when you hit them. So beat them up as soon as possible. I don't think... I think there was a cap to how much they will divide. And they'll also carry over any HP they have. When they when they divide, so right now I got five HP, but I just realized something. I could have just used this because the pow attack power alone could kill them. And yeah, there it is. Hello, Merly. Thanks for coming. Maybe. Fortunately, when the when they divide, their attack their HP goes down by half. So at least that's good. And there we go. He is down. So yeah, these embers are probably going to be the only enemies that you'll face in Star Way. So at least you have no problems getting through through this place. And hey, more! Next, take that takes care of another ember. I took Sushi out because she's going to be showing some usefulness at least here, at least here. So at least Sushi still has some some use that, that she's not outclassed at, because I'm pretty sure nobody can really touch their state, well, aside from Lucky Lester, but Sushi has elemental affinity, so 
at least she's more useful than Lackey Lester on that front. Welcome to Star Haven. Good afternoon! Or good evening, maybe. In Star Haven, you can see stars all the time. There used to be a lot more shooting stars, but that was before the Star Ride was taken. The beauty of this place was incredible back then. When I first heard that all the Star Sports were captured and the Star Ride was stolen, I lost it. I figured, this is it! This is the end of the world! But now, all the Star Spirits have safely returned! It just goes to show you, you never give up hope. Aww. Yeah, welcome to Star Haven. When the news first hit that the Star Spirits had been taken away, a friend of mine was so shocked that he got sick! His shining light faded away down to a mere flicker. Since the Star Spirits have come back, he's regaining a healthy glow! You're a lifesaver, Mario! Aw, these Star People are just too cute! Our precious Star Spirits have returned! Oh, happy day! It's all because of you! I guess we all wish upon a Mario from now on. Every star owes you, Mario. <laughs> I think that was an attempt to make a joke. And hey, here's the shop. Here's the toad house, or the shop, or the inn, what have you. And right up here is the actual shop. So at least we can be able to come back here all we want. And the, we only have super shrooms and super maple syrups, but the life shroom is now at its lowest cost, at 25 coins. And I'm carrying too much crap. I need to cut the crap. Wow. Um, I'm gonna put... I'm gonna finally put the iced potato into the... Into the item check because I don't need that. And I'm just gonna leave some spot in the inventory because I know I have a life stream in case I die, but... I don't think I have died at this point of the story, so there... There's that. Anyway, this place is so beautiful. It gives me great joy to hear the Star Spirit return! Our only wish now is for the return of the Star Rod! It seems so odd, a star making a wish! Well, everyone can make wishes, isn't it? Everyone can make wishes no matter wh what they are. Everyone has a chance to make a wish. Even if they are a star themselves, everyone has the right to make wishes. And no one would take that away from you. Making wishes is our right. And as we're fighting for the star rod, we have to fight for our wishes too. Anyway, if we go this way, it should lead to the shrine. Welcome to the shrine. I'm gonna put out Cooper here because I can, but... This, this place is so beautiful with all the waters and the starry skies. I just want to live here. Or rather, travel here and take pictures of here excessively. Seriously, just so beautiful and relaxing. Let's go in. Mario, you finally made it. The time has come to take the fight to Bowser's turf. Now, hold still while we seven together to this boat to bestow upon you our final power. Mario can now use Star Beam! If you use this power, you can drain the power of the Star Rod whenever Bowser uses it. Ah yes, and one more thing. I have one final gift which should come in handy. This is the legendary starship from Star Haven. Bowser is keeping his castle way up in the sky. With this ship, however, you can reach it. Climb aboard, onto Bowser's castle. We will always be with you. Whenever you are in need, use our powers to help you. Are you ready to take off? Of course we are. Seriously, that looks like a really weird helmet. Anyway, we take off on our craft. Approaching light speeds! Speeds faster than light! Probably! I 
want to eat shroom cake! I want to eat tons and tons of shroom cake! Oh, shooting star, please fulfill my wishes! Pretty please! Chapter 8, A Star-Powered Showdown! Now I'm gonna stop right here really quick because if you wait for a few minutes... Wait for it... Wait for it... I haven't had a good time to go over this, but... There we go! There's a Mario theme right there! After- after waiting for a few seconds after- on the chapter loading screen, you get to hear this. Okay, now on to Chapter 8, A Star-Powered Showdown! Here we are, Bowser's Castle. It seems a lot a lot intimidating now with, in, with just a hanger, which brings me to the question, why did we drop off right directly at the door? Eh, Nintendo logic, I probably should stop asking asking why when I could just chalk it up to Nintendo logic. Anyway, welcome to the outside of Bowser's Castle. We can't do anything about this now because there's lava over here. In fact, the only way we can go to is the bur is here. Except, it's locked. We can't open it. And there's our red box over there containing our final badge of the game. But we can't do anything about that either because we need to do something about this lava. So, our only way in is through here. Okay, I'm gonna take out Gumbari over here in the, ca in the case. Oh, wait! I forgot. I don't think we're gonna be facing up against fiery enemies anymore, but in, in the case we are. I'm gonna take out Ice Power and bring in Spike Shield, because we're gonna be facing up against spiky enemies too. I don't need Diddy Z attack anymore, so I'm going to also equip Ice Power along with it. Let's go. Let's take on... Okay, so, we already have tattled these guys due to the fact that we, we met them back at Shy Guy's Toy Box. So, at least we don't have to worry about that, but... It's a testament to see how far we've come since we can be able to take these enemies on normally. In fact, boink, boink. Yep, there we go. Earlier, we could not have... We, we, ha we had a hard time facing these enemies back at Shy Guy's Toy Box. But now, with our newfound powers, we can be able to take them on easily. With our increased damage outputs. And our upgraded party members. These Koopa Trolls are no problem to us. And he dropped the castle key, opens a locked door in Bowser's castle, and hey! There are toads here. Unfortunately, we can't do anything about that, so they're just gonna be trapped there. Okay, so now that we have the castle key, we can be able to go storm Bowser's castle through the front door. Because Bowser likes leaving the front door unguarded. It's as if he's doing this on purpose. Welcome. Hey, another Koopa Troll! Okay, ooh, we got a Super Shroom that I realize I need to throw away because we don't have any more room in our inventory because I have excessive life shrooms! Apparently, steel being affected by fire does not apply in Paper Mario. Yeah, I tried using Fire Shell on the Koopa, P Koopa Trolls and it does not penetrate through the fence. Oh well, at least I tried. Hey! It is absolutely amazing how far we have come since the beginning of our journey. Anyway, so let's keep going going, and I don't want to fight you anymore. Okay, I said I didn't want to fight these guys, and yet here I am fighting them. Hey, a hammer bro! We've seen them before, but I'm gonna take them on anyway. Yep, yep, just the high HP monsters I remember them to be. Okay, so I'm gonna do a power bounce over on this guy. One, two, three, four, five. Aw. Um, multi block on you. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. I think the Hammer Bros are a lot more threatening than the Koopa Trolls at this point because we have gone. We have came so far in our journey. I mean. Yeah, the Hammer Bros have more HP. That's. That's the that's the more important thing, but the hair bros have a lot more utility. Uh oh, crap, 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 crap. 
but yeah. The Hammer Girls are a lot more challenging because they have a lot more moves and they can get really annoying in general. There we go. Okay, at least there, that takes care of that. Whoa, lots of flowers and hearts. This is just a straight hallway. Whoa, welcome, worm. I'm called the guard door of Bowser's Castle. It's my job to keep suspicious types from entering. You must be Mario! Let me guess, do you want to go through here? Hmm? You want to get to the other side of this wall, right? Yes. Okay then, <laughs> stand in front of me. Indeed we shall. Are you standing squarely in front of me? Okay then, I'll let you go through. We fell for an obvious trap. Gah! You fell for it, worm! You'll never escape from that impenetrable prison. Try all you like. All you'll do is exhaust yourself. I'll tell you what, if you make it back up here, I'll let you go through. How's that? Ah ha ha I knew you'll never make it. I hope you have a good time shaking and crying down there. Gah! Oh, Mario, you came at long last. As you can see, we're in a horrible situation. Princess Peach is who knows where, and her beautiful castle is being run by Bowser's horrid staff of rejects! Nothing fills me with more joy than serving this castle with my heart and soul, but right now, there's nothing I could do. We have no choice but to rely on you now, Mario. Please at least save our dear Princess Peach! This wouldn't have to happen if we had better defenses. I don't know how I can ever apologize to Princess Peach. Ugh, it doesn't matter. Saving her is all that counts now. Mario, you've come to save us! I just knew you would! All the toads in here used to work in Peach's castle! The princess isn't with us! I think she must be confined somewhere else! Mario, don't you worry about us! Saving Princess Peach is the only thing that matters! I still can't believe all of the Peach's castle was kidnapped during the party! I know it was just a means to catch Princess Peach, but still, only an evil fiend like Bowser would do something like that! Please make him pay! In Kate, in that we shall, but first we have to find a way out of here. But not after crushing these boxes with... Stuff we cannot carry anymore! I, I don't have a need for this tasty tonic. Uh, I do have a need for this life shroom, and I'm going to dispose of this honey super. I... Wait a moment. I could have just consumed this and then ha grabbed the life shroom. I don't need this thing anymore. And plus, there was a hard block over there, so that was kind of pointless. Anyway... Let's take out our our babon that has got nerve and blow the wall up to have ourselves an escape. There we go! It's a piece of cake to break these walls. The material's weak. These are much easier than the walls of the Cooper Bros Fortress. You're really lucky you have me along, aren't you? Mario, please save Princess Peach. We're all relying on you. Oh, I don't know. You're not trying to try to escape, and. Now, now, all we have to do is make our way back up here, there. Okay, so, let's make our way back upstairs. And then, we will, we will go be on our way. I'm gonna use Paracarry because I don't have fit. Wait a moment! I know eventually I have to do this, but, if I'm not mistaken, I could use Lackey Lester and... Haha! -ha! Um... Poor, poor guys. They they seem to be in pain. Hang in there, Lackey Lester. Hang in there, dude. Oh, there's a block over there. Once again, hang in there, dude. We'll we'll save you soon enough. Hey, guess what? We have a life stream that I cannot carry anymore. Crap. Might as well throw away a super shroom. Yeah, a super shroom. Life shrooms can be used as normal items and they heal the same amount of HP as well, so at least it's not a huge loss. Anyway, can you go any faster, Lackey Lester? I know your clout you and your clout are in pain in pain, but Oh oh screw it. I'm not gonna push you anymore. I know you're you're trying to handle the heat, Lackey Lester, so take all the time you need. Anyway, here we are. This is it. Our final badge, and our badge is Deep focus. That was lame. Our final badge, and it's just a deep focus badge. 
And I fell off the... Fell off. But anyway, now we have to make our way back to that room. Here we are, back in the room, which means Lucky Lester will no longer have to suffer crossing lava himself. And now we're just gonna have to jump over here and from here, and I'm gonna use Paracarry because I need all the leverage I can get. You know, a well-timed jump will be able to easily cross that, but I want to be safe and use Paracarry. There we go. Oh, they connect. I'm an idiot! Anyway, so let's jump across here, 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 and here, and here. There is a whirlpool over there, and I don't understand why. Um, is, does something happen when I... When I do this? No, nothing happens. Aw. Oh well, at least I tried. Now onto this door. Crap. Anyway, onto the door. Why can't I stop jumping into lava? There we go. Okay, there's a switch over there that we can that we can only get through, well, Lackey Lester, of course. And that we that will get the platform moving. And now we could be able to be on our way to the other side of this platform. Okay. Let's keep going. Let's keep on swimming, trucking through. And there's a way in, but I want to see what's on the other side. Okay, there's another switch. So I'm gonna press that. But I wanna check out what's in here. Because there seems to be a door and it seems suspicious. Hey, a treasure box that I can't get to because it's there's no way I can get there. I can't if I attempt to jump off a of Lackey Lester, it'll be painful and I don't want to have to go through that. Okay. So now we're just gonna have to wait for this platform to make its way over to the other side, because if I'm not mistaken, there is another switch over there. No. This is a paracarry one here. Anyway, yeah, this dungeon will will pretty much test your ability to use your partners in the in the field. So yeah, pretty much test your knowledge on how to use your your partner's field abilities. And I jumped into the lava yet again. I gotta stop doing that. Anyway, so I know I could jump over these. I just can't seem to get the timing right. Okay. Almost done. There's a mystery over there which I will have to skip over because I don't I don't need that mystery. It's just crap. I don't want to have to deal with that crap. Anyway, there's also a thunder rage there, but I probably don't even need that either. Okay, uh hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I gotta hurry, hurry, hurry. Bo, do your thing. There we go. Whew! That was close. Okay. Paracare, you're up. Okay. There we go. Okay, now Lucky Lester, you're gonna have to take us, take us there. I'm sorry, gonna have to do this to you, buddy, but it's the only way. What's in here? Oh, a lava flow. Okay. Anyway, let's go in here because I just want. To, let's see. If we could stop that lava flow, we would be able to freely move there. And hey, a Koopa, three Koopa trolls. Hmm. I, hmm. Let's do this. Uh oh! M Mario is right there! Now, what are we supposed to do with this situation? Kami Koopa told us something, but I'm drawing a total blank! I think she told us not to let him touch that switch! Oh, oh no, did you think that means we have to fight him? No! He'll wipe the floor with us! Stop your belly aching! Who says we have to be so afraid of Mario, huh? He's not so bad! Whatever happens, we can't let him push this switch! Don't you that care that King Bowser needs our help? Come on, take this, plumber! Show what you're made of! Ah, we have no choice! Gotta be brave! Gotta be... ATTACK! Okay, we got... Hey! A new enemy here! We have ourselves... A new enemy here. This is a Magic Koopa! Magic Koopas are the elite magicians of the Koopa Clan! Max HP 11, attack power 6, defense power 0! Tread carefully, Mario! Their magical attacks pack a serious punch! They know many nasty spells. We'd better beat them before they can do anything crazy! Magic Koopas suck. We gotta take him out as soon as possible. So, let's power bounce him. One, 
two, three, four, five. Okay. Uh oh. He's charging up. They're all charging up. That can't be good. And there's transparent, so I can't do anything about that. Okay. At the very least, at the very least, I can do this. Uh, no. Star Storm, just to bring them all down, and that Magic Koopa will be gone in an, in an instant. Well, not in an instant, but in no time. And also weaken the Koopa Trolls, hopefully. Okay, and now they're at a state where I, a single attack will kill them. So with that, Fire Shell them! And they're dead. Unfortunately, we have that one to deal with. Oh. Seven damage! Had I not blocked that, it would have been much, much worse. We can't really do anything with this guy now. So... Focus time. That's all I can do. Okay. Also, I'm gonna get out Watt because her penetrative abilities. And... Turbo Charge! There we go. Oh, I missed one. Doe I missed. And now he's calling for reinforcements. Eh, nothing too bad. Nothing I can't handle. One, two. Okay, an Electro Dash? I hope this doesn't hurt her. It doesn't. Good. More reinforcements? What is this? This is Fire Emblem with the excessive reinforcements? Jeez. Uh... Never mind, I can do this again! Haha, <laughs> good thing I focused! See, you probably should think ahead, because if I have nothing to do, I can always focus, and then do a Star Storm to wipe you guys out. Okay, what? You go, finish him off with an Electro Dash. And there we have it. He's down. 18 Star Points! And now we press the switch. There we go. The lava will recede. And... The lava, um, got all hard! We can walk on it, huh? Can't we? That tricky old Bowser, he can't fool us, huh? Okay, this is something that's bothering me. How can stopping lava flow harden all this lava? Uh, at least we can walk on it and get that thunder rage that we, we can get. Unfortunately, we don't have a key to use. But that's okay, because we have ourselves a way out of, in and out of Bowser's castle, should we need it. So, with that out of the way... Wait a minute, I just realized something. Considering the lava's cooled down, we can't- we can- we easily walk on this and... da 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 We got the castle key! However, I think this is a good stopping point for now. Next time on Paper Mario, we'll be going even deeper in Bowser's Castle. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!